The motion of a pendulum shown in figure 3 is modelled by the differential equation d2 theta dt squared plus 9 theta is equal to half cos 3t, where theta is the angle in radians that the pendulum makes with the downward vertical, as we can see in the diagram, t seconds after it begins to move. Show that a particular solution of the differential equation is theta is 1 12th t sine 3t. So, all we need to do to show that it works is use this and put it into the equation to show that it is a solution. So, we have theta is 1 12th t sine 3t. Now, we know that that is a product. So we can differentiate it. d theta dt is going to be 1 12th. So it will be sine 3t times the differential of t. So that's going to be sine 3t. And then t times the differential of sine 3t, which is going to give us 3t cos 3t. And we want to differentiate that again. So that is 1 12th. Differentiating the sine 3t gives us 3 cos 3t. Differentiating the 3t cos 3t, we need to use the product rule again. So it's going to be cos 3t times the differential of 3t. So that's going to give me plus 3 cos 3t. And then 3t times the differential of cos 3t, which is negative 3 sine 3t. So we're going to get negative 9t sine 3t there. And if we tidy that up, that is going to give us 1 12th of 6, let's just tidy that up, 6 cos 3t. Take away 9t sine 3t. And that is a half cos 3t. Take away 3 quarters t sine 3t. Okay, so all we need to do is substitute that into the equation. So, substituting into the left-hand side, d2 theta dt squared is going to be a half cos 3t. Take away 3 quarters t sine 3t plus 9 times 1 over 12 t sine 3t, which is a half cos 3t. Take away 3 quarters sine 3t, add 3 quarters t sine 3t, and we can see that these are going to cancel out and we're left with a half cos 3t which is the right hand side of the equation so it works now we're asked to find the general solution of the differential equation so we already have the particular integral which is this part here we want the complementary function so, this gives me m squared plus 9 equals 0. That tells me that m is plus or minus 3i. When we have purely imaginary roots like that, it tells us the form of the equation is a cos 3t plus b sine 3t. The three, of course, coming from here. 
the general solution then is the sum, so this is the complementary function, is the sum of the complementary function and the particular integral. So that's a cos 3t plus b sine 3t plus 1 twelfth t sine 3t. Now we're given some further information. Initially the pendulum makes an angle of pi by 3 radians with the downward vertical and is at rest. So that's telling us two pieces of information. Theta is equal to pi by 3 when t is equal to 0 and d theta dt is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0. And those two pieces of information enable us to work out the values of a and b. So using the first piece of information, theta is pi by 3. That's going to be a cos 0 plus b, now sine of 0 is 0, times 0. And of course this last term will be 0 because of the t and the sine t. And so all of that is 0. Cos of 0 is equal to 1. So that just gives us that a is equal to pi by 3. Now, we need d theta dt to use our second piece of information. So, working from our expression from theta above, so we want d theta dt. So we're going to differentiate each term. Cosine differentiates to negative sine. So we're going to get negative 3a sine 3t. Then sine differentiates to cos using the chain rule as well. We get 3b cos 3t. And then the 1 12th t sine 3t, we've differentiated that before. We can just go back to our previous result. And it's sine 3t plus 3t cos 3t. And we know that d theta dt is 0 when t is 0. So 0 equals... Now let's think about what's going to be 0 here. When t is 0, that's going to be 0. That's going to be 0. That will be 0 because of the t. So basically we get 3b because cos of 0 is 1. And that tells us that b is equal to 0. So now that we have that, we can write down that our particular solution for this particular set of values is theta is pi by 3 cos 3t plus 1 12th t sine 3t. So, what are we asked to do now? Determine the value of a to 3 significant... Uh, alpha to three significant figures. This is the 10 seconds after it begins to move. So basically, we just want theta of 10, which is pi by 3 cos 30. Remember, we're in radians. And 10 over 12, which is 5 over 6, sine 30. And if we calculate that, it gives us the value of alpha which is negative 0.662 to three decimal places. So what are we asked for now? We're given that the true value of alpha is 0.62. We want to evaluate the model. The fact that we got a negative isn't really important here because all it would mean is it's this side. So the angles would be negative over here. So the fact that they're so close in value, if we ignore the negative, means that it's a good model at this time. 
And then finally, we want to refine the differential equation so that the motion of the pendulum is simple harmonic motion. Well, at the moment, it's forced harmonic motion, and the forcing term is this one on the right. So all we need to do is just drop that term, and it will be simple harmonic motion if we just have this.